Hello, everybody. Joyce here with the Traveling Gamblers, and I am here with John. Hello, John. Hello, Joyce. And today is day four of eight days on the Queen Mary 2. And where we left off yesterday, we got up in the morning. We were one hour back again. So now we are four hours behind East Coast time in the United States. We're getting closer and closer. <laughs> And we got ready for our day and we did our daily video. And after that, we decided to go to the Princess Grill. For breakfast. For breakfast. Yeah. That is the dining room for the Princess Grill Suites, which is what we are in. Mm -hmm. And breakfast was lovely. Their meal service is much more formal and taken very seriously. There is a certain way that they do things. They approach the certain side of the table for certain items. Everything is very methodical. There's not a lot of flexibility in the way that they do things. Everything is very structured and it's nice. It's very nice. The coffee in the dining room is very good. Everything is very hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> food is very hot. Yes. Even the room service that we had delivered yeah, was very hot. It's amazing how hot it is. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. Yes, there's no issue with cold food. With the exception of the English bacon that I ordered yesterday that came on my plate, that was cold, which is weird. It, it wasn't cold, it just wasn't hot. You know what else is cold? Our room is a little bit on the cold side. <laughs> and the balcony, I don't know who uses the balcony during the transatlantics. Uh, I guess once, maybe when June comes along. I mean, this is late May. After breakfast, we went to the Corinthia Lounge. Shortly after they started the morning music trivia, yeah. which John and I played on our own. Mm -hmm. Again, didn't get very many right. <laughs> <laughs> and again, they had some music, but we were able to get some work done the internet wasn't so great for me down there. I didn't really need the internet right, because right. it was just editing, so you right. don't really need the right. internet for that. But on the music part, I just wanted to say, the music on the ship has been really lovely. Yes. After music trivia in the morning, they have, sometimes they have a little bit of a, a live band where it's maybe a, not a band, but a, a duo. Yeah. And then t t yesterday they had a piano player and no singing, just music. And it was really, really nice. It was, it's a lovely space. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice place for us to work. And we chatted with some other uh, passengers. Right, yeah. And it was very nice to socialize a little bit. It's really strange. It's mostly foreigners on this ship. So most yes. of the people, there's multiple languages. In fact, when the captain comes on and does his announcement, it's in English. And I think they do three or four other announcements in different languages. Mm -hmm. It lasts for about a half hour <laughs> when they go. I know they do French for sure. German, I believe. And I think they do German. Right. Yes, yeah. yes, I, I think you're right. And around one or so, we left Corinthia Lounge and we went to the Golden Lion Pub because our dear friend Jason yes. let us know that they have fish and chips for lunch for within limited hours. And we went yesterday and we had fish and chips for lunch and it was delicious. It was really good, but we weren't able to have the dessert because it was towards the end. So I think we'll do that again today. Yes. Because it was really good. Yeah. You know, so. so we learned that the kitchen closes at 2.30. So you need to have your orders in by then. It did take a very long time for us to get our food. It's a pub, so it's a very social atmosphere. There's TVs with sports playing, and so I don't think anybody is in quite a hurry to when they go there to eat. Yeah, I caught a glimpse of the beer list, and it's quite extensive. We're not really beer con connoisseurs, but we did have beer. We with... did. We we ordered something simple. After we had our fish and chips, we went back to the Corinthia Lounge and did some additional editing. And last night we decided that we were going to try the buffet for dinner because we want to try the different venues. Well, it wasn't good. Mm -hmm. We went and I was surprised at the 
very limited amount of options. And I don't think it's due to cutbacks. I think this is just their normal because majority of the guests probably go to the sit down dinner. I think so. And after walking around and looking at the buffet, we decided that we would just go ahead and go to the princess grill. And we did, and I'm glad that we did. I had the turbo fish and it was delicious. I had it the other night with a lemon garlic butter that they made special for me. And it was absolutely delicious. Yeah, I had that also. It was really good. And I had a shrimp tempura for an appetizer, which was pretty good. Good. Yeah. 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 I, I didn't really see much more on the menu that I liked. I had a Caesar salad, which quite frankly, I didn't think was oh, very no. good. The dressing was very, very watery, but the actual dinner itself, the turbo was delicious. And after dinner, we went back. To Corinthia Lounge. Just did a little bit more work. And there was some, there was some really good music. I mean, that was really good. There was. Yes. There was a, a young lady and a young man, and he played the guitar and sang, and she sang, and they were really good. They performed for about an hour or so, took requests from the audience, and it was very entertaining. John and I continued to do a little editing. We were trying to get some additional things uploaded, but we didn't really have much success. The internet was really bad last night. And after the Corinthia Lounge, we went to the casino. It was about 10 o'clock. It was late. And something that's very interesting and different about this casino that I have never experienced before, the casino tables close, from our experience, somewhere between midnight and 1 a.m. There's only six tables. Mm -hmm. And everybody, the whole staff leaves and they go to bed, they leave for the night. The casino itself stays open and you can play the slot machines all night. The slot machines are open 24 hours a day during the transatlantic crossing because we're not going into port. But I've never experienced a casino on a ship that was open 24 hours. The only caveat is if you hit a jackpot and you require a hand pay, there's a slip that's at the desk and you fill it out and they will pay you the next day. And I know that sounds a little bit iffy, but the way that their system works is interesting. You can't put money into a slot machine and play unless your room key is inserted first. The machines don't accept money unless your CPAS card is inserted into the machine. And the only way to cash out is to have the money transferred from the machine to your card. Most of the machines, if you pull the card out, it automatically uploads or transfers it to your card. A couple of the machines, you have to actually hit the cash out button and it then loads to your card. So there's no need for a ticket. There's no need for a cashier. It just loads to your card. And then at some point, if you want to cash it out and get cash for it, the next day you would just go to the cashier. Another interesting thing is if you want to take money from the room, they don't charge you that fee. Right. And another really great thing is that this is also a non-smoking casino. That's right. Right. It is. So not only celebrity. It's the uh, only other cruise line that, that I know, know of right. that has a, a non-smoking. So the casino, although it is quite small, does have some very interesting aspects to it. And we've been having fun there. We there are a couple of machines that we like. Yeah. Yeah, and so. the, the and the the casino crew, the staff is really lovely. The casino manager is very nice, Sebastian, and the casino host and the cashier. Everybody has been very lovely, and they actually know us now. <laughs> they know us by name. And we came back to the cabin, and we went to sleep. And here we are today. And we will tell you about today, tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your support. And as always, we hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye, Nellie. Goodbye, Nellie.